the New York Jets and Woody Johnson have fired Coach Robert Sala. This news obviously drops from an Adam Schefter text or tweet at 10.08 Eastern. What's up, y'all? I'm Darren Randall. Welcome back to Let Me Know. And it's no surprise that the hottest topic on the street right now is definitely Robert Sala. Many fans want to know where is he going? What's his next move? Many Jets fans are surprised. They're blaming Aaron Rodgers. Nobody really knows what's going on. It's been a lot of speculation from Niners fans, especially because of the past that they've had from him, and also because the Niners feel like they might need another defensive edge. This problem for the San Francisco 49ers dates all the way back to last year. If you remember, the San Francisco 49ers first started off with Sala and then D'Amico Ryans, and they switched over to Steve Wilkes, even though that his scheme never fit the defensive scheme of the San Francisco 49ers. During Steve Wilkes' tender, he was 7th in yards, 14th in passing yards, and 3rd in points per game. The NFL media and a lot of sports fans in general were saying Kyle Shanahan and the San Francisco 49ers scapegoated Steve Wilkes. In my personal opinion, I didn't feel like that was the case. I feel like Steve Wilkes didn't do what he needed to do with the roster that he was given. You gotta remember, Steve Wilkes was handed Nick Bosa, Javon Hargrave, Eric Armstead, Fred Warner, Drake Greenlaw, and multiple other stars. Still with all that talent, it felt like the San Francisco 49ers were struggling to get off the field. So that's why Steve Wilkes ended up getting fired. Later during the summer, there was many speculation between the 49ers and Bill Belichick about him becoming the 49ers defensive coordinator. Spoiler, Bill Belichick ended up declining the offer from the San Francisco 49ers and pursuing a career in TV broadcasting. Now it's looking like he might take Robert Sala's job as the next head coach for the New York Jets. And right now it's obvious to tell that the San Francisco 49ers defense doesn't look like the defense we're known to. Right now they're ninth in sacks, 13th in points per game game, their ninth in turnovers, 10th in total defense, and have a 2-3 and three record. Not only is the record scary for the San Francisco 49ers, but also the energy of the team. There's no doubt that a Super Bowl hangover is real, but when you got your all-pro cornerback talking like this, this is why it's a perfect time for the 49ers to pursue Robert Sala. Not only because he's a great defensive coach, not only because he has great history and knows Nick Bosa and Fred Warner since they were puppies, but also because he's a great energy guy. He brings something out of his players that I feel like no other defensive coordinator is able to bring out of their players. Robert Sala is the type of coach who's going to run up and down the bleachers, do two laps around the track, come outside, do a good stretch, and then get get the team in the coaching mode. Back in 2019, when Robert Sala was a defensive coordinator of the San Francisco 49ers, he helped lead them to a Super Bowl, even when they had to trash his quarterback being Jimmy Garoppolo. In 2019 season, the 49ers defense was 6th in the league in forced fumbles, 2nd in total defense, 1st in passing defense, 4th in sacks, and for the first time since 2003, the 49ers finished in top 10 in both scoring and yards per game. So this is the exact reason I feel like Robert Sala is a great addition for the 49ers and that juice that they need into the team. So I'm hoping that Robert Sala, after he gets the time that he needs, hopefully John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, make that call one last time, offer an offer that he maybe cannot refuse, and sign that man as a San Francisco 49ers. We gone. I'm out. Appreciate y'all for watching. Let it be known. We gone.